World War II, the greatest conflict in human history. 60 nations, 1,000 battlefields, 80 million dead. We're familiar with the European battles, the invasion of Poland, the evacuation at Dunkirk, the Battle of Britain, the siege of Leningrad, North Africa, D-Day, the liberation of Paris, the Battle of the Bulge, the bombing of Dresden. But halfway across the world, an equally great war raged in the Pacific. It began in Pearl Harbor and ended in Nagasaki. Across 60 million square miles of empty ocean in places like Bataan, Guadalcanal, New Guinea, Cape Gloucester, Bougainville, Saipan, Iwo Jima, and Okinawa. Names that mean something only to those who fought there, slogging ashore in blood-red waters, battling the suffocating jungle, and a determined enemy that would not surrender. Losing friends and comrades in places with unpronounceable names, Tarawa, Kwajalein, Anawitak, Peleliu. How to comprehend a war zone with dozens of D-Days, hundreds of battlegrounds, and thousands of white crosses? In the frigid air above the sweltering seas, endless hours over endless oceans, no radar or homing beacon, only the sun and stars as guides, to distant specks of sand that await with teeth rattling anti-aircraft fire. Engaging the formidable zero, the terror of white hot phosphorus raining down from above, bombing runs into walls of flak that blacken the sky, and trying to fathom the horrific kamikaze. A bird's eye view from the legendary B 24 Liberator, 4,800 horses, 10 50 caliber machine guns, 4 tons of bombs and a 3,000 mile range take the battle to the enemy. A crew of nine, a young commander, and a beautiful lady to give them courage. From a tiny island they engage in 16 heart-pounding missions. Corregidor, Luzon, Mindanao, Arakabisan, Truk, Marcus, China, and Japan itself where they witness the terrible beauty of Hiroshima. A young man who dreams of flying, the airplanes, the solos, the reward. The boredom, the homesickness, the friendship, the fear, the courage, the relief, the honor. See it all from the left seat. See it as you've never seen it before. See it as they saw it. Remember it as they remember.